Hello everyone, I'm Nate and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna take a look at the Saboteur. This is the Saboteur. I'm gonna say it like that because it's more fun. But this is the Saboteur uh, from Guy with a Yo-Yo. All right, let's get into it. Saboteur, Saboteur. So the Saboteur is a passion project from Guy with a Yo-Yo. Guy with a Yo-Yo, if you don't know who that is, uh, he is a, a fellow uh, YouTuber, um, and um, I'm gonna have his link and all that to his YouTube channel in the description. So definitely make sure you check him out and uh, like and subscribe his stuff as well uh, as you do mine, all right? The Saboteur is a organic, high-walled yo-yo. Uh, has a lot of that nostalgic feel to it. First off, I like that color. Um, there's some really nice solid colors coming out for this. I'm not sure by the time this video comes out if all of the colorways that he is releasing for this first run are gonna be revealed, uh, but this is kind of like a orange, red, almost in this light, it kind of looks almost like a burnt orange, almost. Um, really nice shade of orangish red. I like that a lot. Like I said, it's an organic yo-yo and it is high walled. Uh, it has sort of a, a little bit, because of the gap design of it, it is organic, but it has a little bit of that H uh, shape as well. Uh, certainly more leaning towards organic than it is H shape. The high walled there, uh, we'll take this apart in a minute, but really nice high walled. Uh, you're gonna have a lot of control for things like regens and so on, okay? Uh, before we take it apart and kind of look at that high wall, let's take a look at the uh, the actual design of the hubs there. I, really unique there. Um, you know, that's going to stand out. Um, it has kind of that ripple effect. So you're going to feel a little bit of that center weight there. Just kind of has a little bit of a ring around there. You can see there. Uh, and it does have a little bit of a spike. And it is sharp enough and just barely long enough that you're going to be able to matador with that uh, and do pull starts and what have you uh, with that spike. So that's a nice little feature. Um, I feel like if you're going to put a spike on a, a, a dimple of a yo-yo, make sure that it's probably sharp enough and long enough that you can actually do something with it and it's not just for looks. There is a little bit of an IRG, not a major hooked in one there, uh, but enough that you should be able to pull that up and do a thumb grind if you want to do that kind of thing. The blast on there is really nice too. A really nice kind of silky blast. That's gonna be really great for grinds. And that just ever so slight H shape is gonna be really nice to kind of get the finger right in there to kind of lock in for grinds. So uh, that's gonna be nice. It's not maybe quite wide enough to be perfect for grinds, but I think that is gonna aid with that a little bit. As I said, high walled on there. So we'll go ahead and take that apart. All right, now taking it apart, you'll see that it has a nice smooth groove in there. So it is high walled, but uh, it's gonna pull away from there quite a bit. And so it's gonna have uh, that stability and all that that um, you're gonna look for, you know, especially in that regen sort of uh, stability as far as um, high walledness is concerned. Cause that's, I think personally, whenever you have a high walled design, um, it can really be beneficial actually at times for controlling it for things like um, you know, regens and so on. All right, I think that's gonna be good enough to talk about in the hand. Let's go ahead and actually play it and see how it plays on the string. All right, as I said, uh, this is a passion project. The Saboteur is from Guy with a Yo-Yo. I'm not sure if his plan is to make more yo-yos. Uh, probably, it'll probably depend on how well this one does. I hope this one's well received, you know, because it is a great yo-yo. Um, it plays really smooth and it was very deliberate. You know, it was prototyped well, I believe. And, uh, you know, little things were probably messed with here and there, but the overall final production here that I have is really nice. You know, there's a number of probably videos out there that you can find um, from other YouTubers uh, that did the proto. I never had a chance to play the prototype, uh, but I have been really impressed with the final production with this. That high wall is really nice. You know, I love, love doing regens. And like I said in the hand, you know, I feel like a high wall it's really nice for aiding in regens. You have a lot more control there. And with that smooth groove, I feel like it doesn't, like it's not really kind of grinding so much that I feel like I'm losing spin times. 
Um, it's not going to be like a necessarily a competition yo-yo in the first place. Uh, this one's really more geared towards that everyday play, kind of laid back play, which seems to be kind of the model a lot this year. I mean, I know that there have been competition type yo-yos that come out, uh, but I think with less people focusing on actually competing, you're seeing a trend. Uh, maybe it's an unintentional trend of creating uh, more just kind of just fun, um, you know, laid back yo-yos. You see a lot of slimline, you see a lot more organic yo-yos and just kind of more yo-yos that aren't just pushing the envelope as far as performance. And uh, for me personally, I really like that. Um, we need that balance though. So I'm, I'm sure that once we kind of get back into normal and start seeing more competitions, uh, of course there's scales coming up by the way. So good luck to anyone who's doing that. Uh, and my fellow teammates as well on G-Squared Yo-Yos. Good luck to you. But if, uh, you know, as we see more competitions opening up, you know, face to face, I'm sure that the trend will kind of switch back um, to doing that. But I think it's been nice to kind of see a lot more just everyday carry type yo-yos. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the performance and kind of some of the basic um, things that I always talk about. You know, okay, so I did four wraps there, you know, on the other way around. Okay, so it, it, it kind of jammed up there a little bit. But binds are super snappy. I'm actually not sure uh, what he chose for the pads on this one. They have that like kind of aqua color. Um, they, they might be snow tires possibly, I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean, it's not super, super flared out, uh, but it's it's comfortable enough. Uh, it has really nice, comfortable feel in the hand on the catch, too. On a grind, it is really nice. I mean, a little bit wider, and it would be absolutely perfect as far as the actual shape of the gap. Uh, but it, it that little bit of H shape does aid in that, and that blast is really, really nice. So I talked about those spikes too and how you can just matador with those. And you know, maybe just the spikes will be a tiny bit longer if you're gonna have like perfect matador spikes, but they are sharp enough, they are long enough. With a little bit of practice, you can get that. But if a little bit longer, it might not be kind of um, leery of bumping uh, that little, that little uh, mound that's around there because you have that little mound circle. You know, I've been trying to come up with some new front style, and uh, and this is what I've got so far on something. I don't know. We'll mess with it and see how it goes. I really am liking the Saboteur. Um, I think you know, uh, it's it's a great yo-yo. It's a great start. It's a really nice, comfortable yo-yo. I like that it's unique enough. It's organic. It's high walled. It's everything he was trying to get for. Uh, a really nice, comfortable, just very like approachable yo-yo, right? So definitely check out Guy with the Yo-Yo's channel. Make sure you subscribe to him as well. Uh, but also be checking out the Saboteur, of course. And that should be releasing pretty soon. Um, and um, yeah, that's gonna do it for now. Stellar yo-yo. All right, I'm gonna go play this some more because it's a lot of fun. All right, until the next one, later.